And number three, we have the equation 2x over 3 equals 24. We need to solve for x. That means we need to isolate x, get x all by itself. Right now we have x multiplied by 2 and divided by 3. The easiest way to do this is to do it in one step. I've got this x here. Think of it as being multiplied by the 2 thirds. I can get rid of the 2 thirds there if I multiply this equation by 3 halves. So I'm going to put a 3 halves here multiplied together. And if I multiply by a 3 halves on the left, I have to multiply by 3 halves on the right. And on the left, you can see that this 3 up top cancels out, and the 2 up top cancels out with the 2 on the bottom. And we're just left with x, so we're nearly done. x is 24 times 3 halves. And this is going to be easiest to do if you look at the 24, which is in the numerator, right? 24 divided by 2 is 12 and then we have times 3 is 36. So x equals 36 is the answer. In number 4, 7x minus 5 over 4 equals 60. We're trying to isolate x. Well, x is multiplied by 7, and then 5 is subtracted, and then all of that is divided by the 4. So we need to undo those steps in reverse order. The first thing we need to do is get rid of the 4. And we do that by multiplying by 4. And this 4 here will cancel out that. And if we multiply by 4 on the left, we have to multiply by 4 on the right. So let's write, that, let's write what this results in now. This gives us 7x minus 5 equals... On the right, we have 60 times 4, which is 240. Now, we, we still need to solve for x. So we have 7x. That's 7 and x are multiplied. And then 5 is subtracted. So we need to get rid of the 5 first. This 7 times x and then minus 5. We need to undo the multiplication by 7 and the subtracting 5. And we need to undo those in reverse order. So we have to get rid of the 5. And of course, we do that by adding 5, and those cancel out. And if we add 5 on the left, we add 5 on the right. So this gives us 7x equals 245. And again, you're encouraged to go from here to here without writing the, the plus 5 plus 5, just to save time. In other words, you should be able to say in your head, I'm going to add 5 to each side, and that will get rid of the negative 5, leaving me with a 7x and that will change my 240 to a 245. And then the same thing here, you can divide each side by 7, and you don't have to write the over 7. You can just work it out, or with the calculator, 245 divided by 7. And 245 divided by 7 is 35. So we end up with x equals 35, so that's our answer. x equals 36 for number 3, and x equals 35 for number 4.